there's been a, a, a scripture that either they have chosen or we have chosen, and Peter has um, put his hand up to read that for us. Um, after the scripture, we will have um, anyone that wants to say something about their, their journey, if you've journeyed with them, uh, a prayer, try and keep it short. Um, and then we will do a confession of faith, and then we will baptize. Um, and then after each baptism, uh, they've all chosen a song as well, so we'll worship with them. Um, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll move on to the next one. All right. Thank you, Peter. Okay. So it's Matthew 28. Jesus um, says, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you to the very end of the age. And Daniel's got some verses for us to listen to from Joshua chapter 1, verses 7 to 9. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left that you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Mm -hmm. Now we know that Uncle Stephen's going to say something, but it could be others. Okay, I'm not going to get in the water. <laughs> <laughs> but I did want to say, and Daniel, you'll appreciate what I said. It's been a few years old. He's uh, she could be here. She's here. I'm here representing her as well. Uh, I think as a family, we're very, I won't say proud, but very content, very satisfied. So we continue to do this. The verses say, be strong and courageous. Why? That Joshua had a task that he, God had given him that he could not do in his own strength. He could not see how he could do it. God was reassuring him, saying, No, trust in me. Where do you get your courage from? Trust in me. Where do you get your strength from? Trust in me. You're going to be baptized. Literally, you're going to go all in under the water. And that's a real challenge to be all in for Christ. Three things I want to leave you with is what it means to be all in in that context. Small things, right? What it means, when you face the temptation to do something you know won't be God honoring, when you refuse that and you stay strong, you're all in for Christ. Really small things, but being all in for Christ means that. When you want to know what God is like, when you want to meet Him, you want to understand Him, where do you do that? You meet Him at His word. That's what it means to be all in. When you're all in for Christ, it means you show His love. How does everyone here understand what Christ's love is? You want to be all in, we want to be here to say we support you in that, in your family, we're your community, and in God's strength we pray that you will trust in Him and be strong and courageous. And that's our prayer for all of us as a family and everyone here for you. And uh, God bless you. Thank you. sins and on the third day rose from the dead. Do you, Daniel, turn from and leave behind the lifestyle choices of your past life and the world view of our Christless culture? Yes, I do. Do you commit to following Jesus Christ for all of your life and fellowshipping with his people wherever you may live? All right. Do we, Lincoln Road, accept Daniel into our community 
and to commit to supporting, encouraging, and discipling uh, him in the faith and holding him accountable um, to the commitment that he is making today. Yes. Yes. I think we can do better than that. Come on! Yes. 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 Yeah. 